Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, sorry about the lack of videos the last few weeks. Uh, between work, life, my mother was in the hospital, my mojo just, I didn't have any. Um, but mom's home, she's fine. She's doing good. Um, so I thought I'd bring you over to my build desk and show you what I'm working on. Um, this kit, Dragon Tiger 3 in 1. I'm building the late version. Comes with a uh, bunch of photo etch and uh, grills and fenders and shrouds for the exhaust are all I'm using. So if you want some photo etch for a Tiger 1, let me know and it's yours. I'll even throw in a set of magic tracks. Um, so the kit itself, hang on, let me. Okay, I just wanted to zoom in a bit. Uh, the kit itself, it went together really well. Um, really good quality from Dragon. Um, a couple of fit issues. Um, the first one was the lower hull was bowed in. Um, so every time I tried to put the deck on to test fit it, it would just pop right out. So I clamped it and glued it and worked out fine. I got a little bit of a gap back here beside the engine or the engine deck. Um, but that was it for that. And then the uh, armor plate on the front. It comes with two notches molded into the bottom edge of it that sit over the top edges of the lower hull. Um, <clears throat> the way it came, if I put it in, it was too far over to the right hand side and it wouldn't fit. So I just took my, uh, my Dremel with a grinding bit in it and made the notches bigger and fits like a charm. Um, yeah, like I said, it went together really well. Um, now, Dragon's Acid Trip Instructions. For a company that's been around for as long as Dragon has been, um, I think they were 1985, you'd think they get their shit together with their instructions. This kit came out in 2005, so they've been around for about 20 years at the time. Um, a few mislabeled parts. Um, I forgot to mark them down. Um, a few parts that just magically appeared without any call out. Typical dragon. Um, this kind of made me laugh a little bit. On the deck, where the sea hook goes, there's two holes. But there's no locator pins on the sea hook. And the brackets that hold the, or the, whatever you want to call them, clamps. Um, there was no holes for them. Nothing to drill it from underneath the deck. So I just filled the holes in with uh, glazing putty and left the uh, clamps off. Um, what else was there? Yeah, there's one part I marked. This part C9 for this little, whatever you want to call it, is actually C8. Um, what else was there? I marked all this down. Oh yeah. Um, the two parts that hold in the the barrel assembly into the turret, they've got them reversed. D15 on the right hand side, D18 on the left, it goes the other way around because they're keyed, because um, the Pegs, whatever you want to call them, on the sides of the turret assembly are different sizes. They only fit one way. We got that backwards. And, um, oh yeah. Oops. The supports for the tracks, spare tracks on the turret, these top supports, there's no locator marks for them. So you got to kind of do it by eye. doesn't really make a difference anyway because the spare tracks are too long, they won't fit. Um, oh yeah, I got a spare aftermarket tracks, uh, Chen Zeng, I think that's how you say it. Really nice tracks, the second set of Jap or Chinese tracks I bought. I bought a set of Create Miracle for my Ryfield EZ8, really, really nice tracks. Um, let's see, I, oh shit, the autofocus on my camera is not working. But, um, individual pins for the tracks, and the tracks are beautifully cast. No flash, no sink marks, nothing. Or ejector pin marks. Um, the Create Miracle were the same. They went together really, really well. 
Um, I bought this kit off a buddy of mine about three or four years ago, and it came with an ATAC Zimret set. I'd never used ATAC Zimret before. Um, at first I was a little intimidated by it, but if you're careful, it actually is really, really easy to go on. You know, and the kit came with a resin mantlet as well, and uh, the hatch cover for the side of the turret, and whatever you call these things on the side. I don't know what you call them. Um, if you've never used ATAC Zimmer before, this is a set I bought for the Daswork Panther. Um, it comes on a sheet. It's really, really thin. I'd really like to know how they make these, what their, their casting process is. I think it'd be pretty interesting. The backing is really, really thin resin. I'm not going to take it out of the package right now, but um, with a sharp hobby knife, you just cut along the edge. It comes out really, really easy. Um, the only problem I had was, especially on the sides of the lower hull, um, they didn't exactly fit. So I had a bit of carving and cutting to do to get them to fit. I'm going to cut all this out anyways to put the fenders on, like I did on this side. And I'll just fill in any gaps with uh, wood filler. Blend it all in and I might have, might do a bit more work. Um, make it really beat up, patched, um, put a shell impact in, just use uh, glazing putty uh, and the end of a paintbrush. Um, other than that, it went together fairly well, really easy to apply. Um, and the glue I used, Starbond. Um, <clears throat> as far as I'm concerned, it's the best super glue, CA glue I've ever used. I never knew this stuff existed until about a year and a half ago. Um, one of my other YouTube addictions is wood turning videos. I absolutely love the work that these men and women can do with wood and resin. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so about a year and a half ago I was watching a video of a wood turner and the piece he was turning had a crack in it. Um, so he reached off camera. Um, pulled in a, a ball of CA glue and he turned to the camera and he said it's the best CA glue I've ever used. So I looked it up and I found some locally at a, at a place called Lee Valley here in Ontario. Um, woodworking supply places will carry it um, or you can get it right from Starbond, they're out in California. Um, there's a few great things about Starbond. One is these nozzles are replaceable. Um, you get one spare one when you buy a bottle. I bought the thin, medium, and, and the uh, thick. So I got a few spare nozzles, but you can get 10 spare nozzles from Starbond for six bucks US. Your local supplier may sell the nozzles, mine doesn't. So I got to get them right from Starbond. That's no big deal. Um, another great thing is they've got a product replacement guarantee. Um, the clear super glues are guaranteed for 30 months, two and a half years. If it dries out, even after the 30 months is up, just contact them and they'll send you another one for free. Um, the other great thing is what you pay for what you get. For years, I used LePage, um, mostly the Ultra Gel. Really good glue, but inevitably the nozzles will always plug up um, or dry out. And I know there's people that are going to say, oh, you've got to keep it in the fridge or the freezer. Well, I did that and it didn't make any difference. Um, so at my hard local hardware store, this is $11.99 for 4 mil. Starbond is, this cost me $16.99, the medium and the thick are the same price, for 59 mil. So for five bucks, you get 15 times as much by volume. I think that's a pretty good damn deal. And with the, you know, the replaceable nozzles and their product guarantee, I recommend this to anybody. It's really, really good glue. Um, sorry about that, I have a bit of a coughing fit. I'm still dealing with this <coughs> chest cold thing. It's been, I, should, I guess I should go to the doctor, shouldn't I? Um, what else? 
Oh yeah, any armor modelers out there, um, can you recommend a good Sturmpanzer kit? I know there's, to me, is old one. I don't think they've ever re-released it with new tooling, have they? Um, that kit came out in the 70s. That was actually the first armor kit I ever built. And I still got it somewhere. It's sitting up on the shelf over there. Um, I know there's a Hobby Boss one and a TriStar, I think. Um, but please, nobody recommend uh, Dragon's mid-production Brumbear. I bought that kit five years ago. When I got back in armor, I bought up a buy and sell group. Um, I belong to on Facebook. Read some reviews. Oh yeah, it's a great kit. It, you know, fantastic detail. Blah blah blah. Luckily, I only paid twenty bucks for it. It was the absolute worst piece of shit kit I've ever tried putting together. The fit issues. The upper hull didn't fit to the lower hull. The fenders didn't fit. Um, the sprues that had the road wheels on it were so badly molded that I couldn't even use them. Um, I call it mold slippage. I don't know what the right term is, but they were like this. Where is it? There we go. They were terrible. The suspension I couldn't use. Um, none of it. Luckily, I had an old Panzer IV laying around that I took all the road wheels and suspension off of. But it was just a terrible kit. Um, it was The detail was really nice. But it was just horrible. Um, so anybody can recommend a good Sturm Panzer kit. It's one of my favorite tanks from the war. Um, it would be nice if Meng or Ryfield or Takum or, or Border would come out with one. Unless they haven't, I missed it. I don't really keep up to date on new releases. So if anybody knows of a good Brumbear kit, um, let me know in the comments. Oh, speaking of which, thanks for the comments, guys. Um, Kind of humbling and encouraging and um i'm up to what, 42 subscribers now i'm catching up to you nigel um and i want to i got a very special thank you to uh, a commenter on my very first on my first video who said my videos were rubbish because i talked too much well i got two things to say uh you're welcome and thanks for watching um i personally can't stand videos where there's no dialogue i'd rather listen to the person talk um what other what other thing was i going to talk about? oh yeah my camera set up uh right now i've got my canon t3i sitting on a tripod um it's actually a pain in the ass um and there's something wrong with my camera my automatic zoom doesn't work um i don't know if it's worth taking the lens and have it looked at or whatever but i think i'm going to change my setup altogether i may start using my phone my Galaxy S20 or my old LG. Um, I got to play around with both of them to see which one takes a better uh, video. Um, I'm going to buy a desktop mount um, not with a camera or a phone attachment on it. So, um, yeah. Uh, oh, before I go, I got some stickers in the mail a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Ice Queen. Seven, Sue, uh, Rally Car Miniatures, Chris, and Plastic Monkey, Paul. Um, thank you very much, guys. Um, really appreciate it. i got to find a spot to put them. Uh, I've already got one or two of Nigel's. Um, a friend of mine asked me if I'm going to get stickers made. I kind of chuckled and said, well, people aren't knocking the door down to subscribe to my channel. Um, but I might. Um... Our nurse at work, her husband has a printing business. Um, he's already done a bit of work for me. He made me road wheel masks uh, a couple years ago. So, um, yeah, thanks for the stickers, guys. Appreciate it. Um, that's it for me. I'm going to call it a night. Uh, just a short video just to let you know I'm still alive out here. Um, I know I promised a brush and brush care video. That one's coming. I may do it this week or maybe next weekend. Um, I got another crazy week at work ahead of me, and uh, I'm also thinking of a career change. I got offered a job by the president of a commercial residential development company I met through my buddy Terry. Um, I'm not going to bore you with all the details. Um, we're meeting tomorrow, I think. Um, it's, I'm 57. Is it too old for a career change? I don't know. 
Um, like I said, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and uh, my background is, is building maintenance and facility management and that's what I do now. I've been with my current employer for going on 17 years and it's time to move on. Reasons I'm not going to get into. Um, so yeah, um, that's what's going on. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and um, we'll see you again soon. Take care guys.